Hello students, good morning, how are you? I Purnima welcome you to my English class. Today children in grammar, we are going to read a very interesting topic. And the name of the topic I've written on the board, clause. You can see the name of the topic is clause. Now children, before telling you something about the clause, I feel that we should revise some of the basic things of grammar. Otherwise, you won't be able to understand about clause. So children, these are the things which we have to revise. First, you should know what is a sentence. Then I will be teaching you what is a finite verb. Then children, phrase. And then we will come to our topic that is a clause. Okay. So, uh, students, uh, before uh, I will uh, telling you, before I tell you and explain you about clause, so I think you should know these topics like sentences, finite verb and phrase. If you will not know these topics, you won't be able to understand clause at all. Okay. So children, what we have to study? First, sentence. Second, finite verb. Third, phrase, clause. Only thing, children, you will be, it's very easy, but only thing you have to be attentive a little more. You have to listen very carefully and I'm sure you will be able to understand. So, I am going to teach you about sentence first because if you will not know these things, you will not able to study about clause. Okay. Now, I think you all know that what is a sentence. Maybe you are for, for, getting, for, it for some time but then I will be right now I will be revising with you. So students I will be telling you what is a sentence. Okay. Now in English we are having how many letters in English we are having? We are having 26 letters in English language. Okay, and A, E, I, O, U are vowels. These are known as, and the children others are known as consonants. Okay, so children in English, how many letters we are having? We are having 26 letters in English. And A, E, I, O, U are vowels. The rest of them is known as constant consonants okay now children first of all i will be telling you now what is a sentence listen carefully okay so first thing i will be telling you now about what is a sentence and you have to listen carefully within two minutes you will be able to understand that what is a sentence So students, now I will tell you what is a sentence. I think I have written the definition. It is not exactly the definition of sentence. But what is a sentence that I have written on the board. So we will read it. A group of words. Okay. A group of words that makes a complete sense is known as sentence. A group of words that makes a complete sense is known as sentence. So now children I am going to explain it. What is a sentence? A group of words. Children sentence is not one single word but it is a group of words. And children that group of words it makes a complete sense. What that group of words do? It makes a complete sense. Okay. Now children I have for example I have taken two sets of group of words. And which you are going to read right now. So you can see Raju wants football. First group of word is Raju wants football. Okay. And a second group of word is wants football Raju. Wants football Rajus. Now children both are 
group of word this is also a group of word and this is also a group of word okay but as you can see sentence 1 is making a complete sense what you can see you can see sentence 1 is making a complete sense raju wants football okay is this making a complete sense yes it is making a complete sense but if i will read and the sentence what's football raju is this group making a group of is, is this group of word is making a sense no it is not making a sense okay in fact it doesn't make any sense so children you can judge by yourself now among these between these which is a sentence so very easy children first group which is making a sense making a sense means it means something if you will read the second sentence want football raju it doesn't make any sense so first sentence is a group of word which makes a complete sense that means this sentence is telling some meaning this sentence is telling some meaning so this is a sentence now if we will look at the other sentence if we will read you can see it is not making any meaning so this is not a sentence this group of word is not a sentence okay understood so what is a sentence today a group of word which makes a complete sense is a sentence i think it's very easy everybody must have understood by now so children any group of word which makes a sense that means it has some meaning that is known as sentence okay now to learn some important things regarding sentence when you will make sentence children you have to see two things three things first which i have already told you a group of word which makes a complete sense is a sentence second children a sentence always start with a capital letter four type of sentence i think you all know interrogative assertive assertive first one is assertive then interrogative then exclamatory okay and children in the interrogative in a assertive sentence both positive and negative sentence will come all right so interrogative exclamatory Ah, uh, children, imperative sentence. So with this four types of sentence, you must have studied in your classes, in your junior classes, or in your previous classes. Okay, so I'm, ah, uh, I think I'm sure everybody know what is an interrogative sentence. I'm sure everybody know what is exclamatory sentence. Children, when some emotion are shown, like ah, uh, India is losing the match and. Uh, at the last moment it wins so what do we say hooray we have won the match what do we say hooray we have won the match isn't it so the moment we use uh, hooray it is a exclamatory word and then this sentence is known as exclamatory sentence what is your name what is your age what do you like to study these are some of the sentence which is asking question so this is a interrogative sentence then children imperative sentence imperative sentence where the people gives order command or request okay that is an imperative sentence and children by the way we say like go and close the door go and close the door this is a order but if i will say please go and close the door is this a order no this is a request so children by the tone of our language we can understand what type of sentence is that bring me a glass of water this is an order but if i say please bring me a glass of water then this is request okay and then children assertive and uh, negative uh, assertive sentence i think everybody know sentence children which makes uh, children which uh, makes a statement and it can be negative also it can be positive also that is a assertive se uh, sentences okay so student uh, one thing is sure now i'm 
even i am sure that you have understood about sentence so what is a sentence let's revise a sentence is a group of word which makes a complete sense till at point number 2 related to sentence sentence always start with a capital letter whether it is a interrogative sentence or exclamatory sentence or imperative sentence any type of sentence uh, or children any any type of sentence it always start with a capital letter and children when the when it ends it always has a mark of punctuation okay interrogative ha sentence have question mark Uh, exclamatory uh, sentence sometimes have a mass of exclamation otherwise mostly they are having full stop imperative sentence have full stop when the sentence is completed and of course assertive we all know that it has a full stop so i don't think you will forget sentence now what is a sentence a group of words which make a complete sense it is always start with a capital letter it always end with a punctuation mark so this is a sentence i hope i am very much clear to you and children if you have still if you are having any problem we can discuss it in the online classes right now children i will be taking the next part of the uh, topic children which is necessary to understand clauses okay so next part of the topic is finite verb what is the next part of the topic it is a finite verb and i will be telling you right now what is a finite verb so uh, a student i was explaining uh, i'm going uh, i was uh, explaining about sentence when you will be studying clauses now the uh, next most important thing when you will study clauses you should know about finite verb you should know about what finite verb now children before understanding finite verb within 1 minute i am going to tell you what is a verb okay children so verb is a doing verb that means children if any verb is there in a, if any word in a sentence tell you that whatever verb had been there then that word is a verb like i teach so teach is showing that i am doing one work and what is that work i am doing teach you are studying you study is a word that means you are doing what you are doing one work and that is study so here study is a work now children let's take another example you are sitting sitting again children you are not doing anything but it shows an action which action you are doing you are sitting so sitting the uh, children words which tells about any work or which tells about any action that is a work in a sentence that is that word is a work okay now uh, student even the state the state of a people or a um, thing when it is written then that is also a work like the baby sleeps now children here the baby is not doing any work it is not, he, he or she is not doing any action what it is uh, which is showing the state sleep is showing the state so children work which the word which show the state that is also a work so please remember what is a work in a sentence the word which tells what work is going on the verb which tell what action is going on or the verb which tell what is the state of a person or a thing okay like they are lying on the bed l y i n g i'm not telling about l i i n g okay so or they are sleeping on a bed so this uh, shows that it is a verb because it is a state all right now what is a finite verb children there will be many type of verb when we will according to the topic i will explaining you like transitive verb in time strip verb right earlier children i have told you about finite verb also i have also told you about infinite verb did you remember in my previous video i have taught you about infinite verb also okay so uh, children right now i will be telling you 
what is a finite verb then only you will be able to understand your clause so children a verb let me write, I have written the definition a verb that is limited by person and number of the subject is called a finite verb children there are two types of verb up there one is finite verb and the other is uh, one is finite verb and the other is non finite verb okay so children what is a finite verb a verb that is limited by person and number of the subject is called a finite verb all right now children try to understand this definition it's not very easy because i have written and uh, you are reading and you feel that it is very easy so it's not that easy okay so first of all children a verb that is controlled by a person and number now what is the person here children person here mean the person of first person or second person or third person now children i have written two sentences in front of you and you can read those two sentences like i go to the school these are the two sentences i have written first sentence is i go to the school and in the second sentence children you can see he or she goes to the school he or she goes to the school okay now children in the first sentence i is a person which person first person and children here he and she is a person which person third person okay so here i is a person and here he or she is a person now i is a first person singular and he is a third person singular i think i have told you what is a person i already taught you what is a first person what is a second person and third person children you have to know this thing in grammar if you will forget all this thing a teacher cannot revise again and again so children it is necessary for you to remember all this important thing okay So, children, I told you first person. What is first person singular? I. What is second person? First person plural is we. Second person singular and plural is you and your. Third person singular is he, she, it, and third person singular plural is children, they, them. This is third person singular. And children, subject. And this uh, person is known as subject. What is a subject? I think I have told you. noun or pronoun which comes before the verb that is a subject noun or pronoun which comes before the verb that is a subject right so uh, student i have told you about uh, finite verb i was telling you about finite verb what is a finite verb a verb which is controlled by person and number so children i is a first person and singular number okay and the children he and she is a third person singular number so children here children there is a rule also i told you in simple uh, there is a rule also that in third person singular if we are having third person singular so what do we how, how what form of verb will be there it will be the first form the verb and s and es it added it will be added with the verb if it is third person sing singular children please remember what is a third person singular he she it any name name of any person okay um children uh, he she it or any singular thing okay so when with this uh, person when verb will come then s or es will be added with the Verb. What will be added with the verb? S or es, right? Like he go to school or he goes to school. Tell me. So children, since he is a third person singular, so what you will write? He goes to the school. What is the verb here? Verb here is go, and with go you have to add s 
or es that's why i have written he goes to the school as you can see in the second sentence he goes to the school okay s is es is added with the verb and children i go to school here s or es is not added why because a student it is first person singular the changes take place only in third person singular changes take place where when there is when it is third person singular then children s or es is added with the verb okay so now what is a finite verb i think it's clear to you student what is a finite verb a finite verb is limited i have written the definition you can see a find a verb that is limited by person and number of the subject is called a finite verb that means it is what is a finite verb finite verb is limited that is it is controlled by uh, number by person and number of the subject that is a finite verb okay our uh, children go in both the sentence you can see children i is a subject and in the other he is a subject okay and children with he we are using the verb goes and with i we are using the verb go why because children according to the person and according to the singular number or plural number the verb change if remember always that if it is if it is third person singular which number children singular number okay third person singular then children what to be what to be do we add what we add s or es with the verb okay so don't forget this now so children i have done two things i have told you about sentence okay i have revised with you finite verb all right now children the third part i will be telling you what is a phrase before we go to class now uh, students i will be discussing phrases i have before explaining clauses i have discussed already few things with you like what is a sentence what is a finite verb just right now i have discussed okay and now i will be discussing with you phrases okay now what is a phrase before understanding phrase children you should know sentence and i have already discussed with you sentence okay a group of word which makes a complete sense is known as sentence now children what is a phrase is a group of word then i'll just see a group of words that makes sense but not complete sense children a group of word is there a group of words that makes a sense but not complete sense is called a phrase now try to understand this definition student now children a group of word is there okay now what is the def what was the definition of sentence a group of word which make a complete sense was known as sentence but here children what is a phrase a group of word which does not make a complete sense so it makes a sense but not a complete sense then that is that group of word is known as phrase so what is a phrase a group of word okay phrase first of all is a part of sentence okay a sentence is there a phrase is a part of sentence student so a group of words which makes a partial sense that means a group of word that makes a not a complete sense but a partial sense that is known as phrases and it is a part of sentence okay so we will read in detail now about phrases now uh, students uh, i was telling you that what is a phrase a group of word that makes sense but not a complete sense that okay um that is called a phrase now but children did you remember what was the word uh, was, uh, i told you about sentence a group of word that makes a complete sense was sentence but in the phrase children it is uh, something a bit different 
that is a group of words that make sense but not complete sense then it is called a sentence now i have given you the two example and we will see both the example now first example children like flying kite children if you will read the whole sentence okay so it's also a group of word and it has a complete meaning so children children like flying kite if you will read the whole sentence what you will see it is a group of word and children it has a complete sense and children it is always it is starting with a capital letter and it is ending with a full stop okay so this is a sentence this is what it is a sentence but if you will read children only flying kite flying kite so you can see flying kite is making a bit sense a partial sense okay it is not making a complete sense so children a group of word that makes sense but not complete sense is a phrase okay if you will read the whole sentence what you will see it is making a complete sense what is the whole sentence children like flying kite so this is complete sentence this is the whole sentence it is having some meaning so this is a sentence and then it is starting with a capital letter uh, ending with a full stop but children if we will take only this thing flying kites so this is also a group of word but it is not making complete sense it is making some sense so this is phrase now we will take children and the sentence okay so we will take and the sentence here he sat down under a tree he sat down under a tree now children he is if you will look here he sat down okay so children he if you will look here he sat down now children this is a this whole sentence is making a complete sense um this is a sentence but children if you will take some parts of it like under a tree so under a tree of course it is making some sense but it is not making a complete sense so what is this this is a phrase now children try to understand the difference what is the difference a group of word that makes a complete sense a group of word that makes a complete sense okay then it is a sentence a group of word that doesn't make a complete sense but though it makes some sense then it is a phrase and children remember one uh, thing children phrase is a part of sentence okay sentence is not a part of phrase but phrase is a part of sentence all right so phrase is a part of sentence so children now children uh, clause is a very typical thing on our topic is clause but children you won't be able to understand clause if you will not be able to understand sentences finite verb and phrases so this three i have explained right now i have explained this three thing and children first of all just remember a phrase is a part of a sentence and it does not make a complete sense it does not make a complete sense okay is a part of sentence and children uh, this is also important point i think you should know a phrase can act as adjective and adverb or a noun okay now don't ask me what is a noun what is an adverb so phrase can act as a adjective as a adverb or as a noun now children for example we purchased a steel armira we purchased a steel armi almira this is a sentence and here the steel is an adjective but children if i will tell this sentence we purchased an almira made of steel so this is an adjective phrase 
we purchase an almira which is made of steel so this is an adjective phrase okay so children in a sentence it is children phrase can uh, children act as an adjective phrase can act as a noun and phrase can act as a um, children adverb so with this children now in tomorrow it will be the continuation the continuation of the video will be there tomorrow and in that video children i will be telling you clauses so before that i have already explained you what is a sentence what is a phrase uh, and what is a finite verb and children with that i conclude my video here thank you and have a nice day but children tomorrow children real you have when i will be telling you about clause so don't forget all these terms because if you will you will never understand clause if you will not understand these terms okay so with this i conclude my video here okay and uh, children tomorrow video will be very important don't miss it otherwise you will never if you will miss the first part of the clause you will never understand the other part of the clause so with this i conclude my video thank you and have a nice day ahead